This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Cross the line. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And hey, this right here have to be. I came to work. I got up this morning. Was like, damn, do I? You know, I've been dealing with some things. Do I really want to come in today or mm -hmm. handle those things? Mm -hmm. But man, I said, nah, man. I I knew we had no Ponte coming through this morning. <laughs> All right. You know what I mean? And and, and and with that, everybody, it's a this is a new group. You know, a good friend of ours, Heather B. Um, um, known for working with a lot of the greats, whether it's Nas, um, Jasmine Sullivan, the Fuji's, you name it, soundtracks, movie soundtracks. He's he's done it all. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about Salam Remy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Salam yeah. and Rich Nice. Clap. Yeah, Salam and Rich Nice. Um, Amy Winehouse. Um, yeah. um, Salam and Rich Nice had a conversation a while back, and he yeah. told us about this this mega group he was putting together, you know, all spitters. I said, hold up, Salam. Let me tell you if they're all spitters. So, <laughs> so, so name the people in the group, Odega Bams. Oh, that's a spitter. Yep. That's a spitter. Yeah. Yep, that's a spitter. Check. Um, who else you got, Joel Ortiz? Oh, wow. Absolutely. that's wow. a spitter. He said, and I got a female MC, too. No, he said, I got an MC who's a female. Who is that? Nitty Scott MC. Oh! Right. Yeah. Well and, and, he, and he said, you see the, the theme, the common thread? Yeah, they all spitters. It's not just that, Swiggity. What <laughs> else is it? Latino. What? Oh! Oh, it, it went over your head initially? <laughs> it didn't, I just, I, 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 I look at you spitters. through a, a spitter lens. There you go. There I don't care go. what color you are, you what gender you are. I'm on a spitter. I don't care who you rock with. Y'all yeah. been on the show. You know, how it, right. there wasn't no favors done. or You mm -hmm. know, I'm not asking you for shit. You know, I just want you to. The only thing I do ask is that you spit. Yeah, that's, that's what all. Do. That's what, I, what right? we do. That's what you do. Now, prior to forming this group, what, why why no Ponte? What is the, what, what who who came up with that? Salam. I, yeah, that was actually Salam. Cause yeah. it, I remember. You know, first of all, the group started with yo. I got an idea for the Puerto Rican Day Parade. I think if you Bams and Nitty did a record, it could capture the moment. You know what I mean? And and get the city hot. And we did that record. He was like, yo, this is dope. Let's just try to knock something else out, too. And then we did another record in New York. And he was like, you know what? I want y'all to come down to Miami. Mm -hmm. And let's just vibe with some music and see and see where this goes. Mm -hmm. We went down to Miami for four days. We came up with the West Side Highway story. Mm -hmm. um, that's the name of the project. No Ponte was an idea of a party that he wanted to throw. He's like, you know what's missing? Like that No Ponte Thursday somewhere. Just that party, a Latin party somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And that you know, just stuck up. with it. We ended up becoming that party for him. Wow. The, so You know, that, the body of like work. like we the soundtrack to the To that party. party. To the party. Yeah. And how did he know you, Nitty? So I met Salam a few years back and with uh, Mac Wilds. Uh -huh. And we that's just, right. yeah, mm -hmm. we just connected and just like knew of each other. And it's funny because I, I guess it was just like he was he was still watching me. You know what I'm saying? He was mm -hmm. still watching me grow and progress and, and do my thing. And I remember saying a minute ago, like one of my fans asked me on Twitter in a Q&A, like, who's your dream collab? And I was like, Salam Remy. Like I've always said I actually want him to produce my first album. Like I, I had a vision and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just crazy how it all comes back full circle. You know what I mean? We made that connection. And then a couple of years down the road, he's giving me that call. So... I was Mac like, Wilds. yo, Mac Wilds signed on yeah, his imprint, right? Mac, yeah, Mac, yeah. Mac yeah. signed to his yeah. imprint. Yeah. Now, how did Bodega Bams get involved with this, man? How, Wild card. What? I'm a, yeah, I'm going to keep it a buck sway. Yeah. That's Joel Ortiz, man. Joel Ortiz brought me in the fold. Because really? I never ever met Salon before. Man, actually, I did miss Salon in the video shoot, and he kind of curved me, and I told him too about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good, good. You know what I'm saying? You, you, get a good, you need a good curving from yeah, time yeah, to time. Yeah, yeah I like you know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he kind of like, <laughs> no, go that way, man. I'm busy right now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Joel, he, he brought me in the loop. You know what I'm saying? Joel called me one day at Tom Bob. The opportunity, he was explaining it to me. From there, we went to go meet Salam in, 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 in Joel's studio in Brooklyn, and then ever since then, it been on. And I mean, and I remember at first, we was initially just sending records through Gmail. We had like two records we already sent, uh -huh. but I told Salam like, "Yo, bro, we all gotta be in the studio." And from that, he was like, "All right, let's yeah. all go to Miami." Yep. You know what I'm saying because I, I I felt like that would have been 
if we really want to work, we have to all be working together. It yeah. can't be that Gmail yeah. relationship. Mm-hmm. And then from there, he was like, all right, let's go to Miami. And then we went to Miami, and that's how the whole thing came about. Wow, No Ponte is the name of the group. Nitty Scott yeah. MC, Bodega he, Bam, he, Joel Ortiz. Now, here's the thing. I listened to every song like twice already, right? Just uh, trying to find you. a... I'm an asshole when I listen to music. I try to find a weak link, you know, Scott, to see, yeah. you know, you know, and, uh, <laughs> that's me. Snob. Like, so I can, I'm a music snob. Same. Why? I should be. Same. At this point, right? Uh, like, I know what critical, I like. like. I stopped doing that though, because then I stopped liking a bunch of stuff. Mm. I think it's a balance of. I'm being enjoying, honest, man. You got to you know enjoy that's, shit. Like, yeah, it's tough, but... man. When you like, uh, they mailed that one in. Yeah. <laughs> I can sn- smell the mailing. Yeah, you like can. You, you, mail, you mailed that, yeah. bought them bars in. Yeah, right? Yeah. Still wet. Just wanted to participate yeah. on that one. Huh? On that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, yeah That's real. Well, yeah, good point, Joel. But I, I'm still, I, when I know lyricists, though. Right. You know what I mean? So, and I want to see how y'all held up together as a, as a unit. It's the first you. time y'all done something really together. And, and um and I know with MCs, man, we always trying to. I said we, but you know, MCs always trying to one up the next MC. I mean, what was it like being between these guys for you? Was there ever a moment in the studio where you caught a block and was like, "Fuck"? Um, well, yeah, but just more some like like because we was banging them out, like banging them out. So there were times where I would just be like, just a little burnt out, and be like, "I'm gonna go smoke a blunt." You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Listen to day verses get my life Mm -hmm. and then you know what i'm saying come back and readdress so we definitely fed off of each other and it was like magic once everybody's energy was in there as opposed to like just hearing what joelle sent in or hearing what bam sent in it was like you could feel like the little little energy going Mm -hmm. around Mm -hmm. and it just made everybody kind of bounce off of one one each each other and come up with something that we wouldn't have come up with if we was dolo so you know i just went into it on some like I know I'm the girl. I'm very aware of that, but mm-hmm. I'm not gonna get out wrapped. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm also gonna try to give you some real perspective, um, just because that's what I I'm able to represent. You know what I'm saying in this in this collective. So I was like, I want to make sure that all the shorties I'm speaking for and everything just feel like represented and feel like yo shorty held it down and really like describe my experience, which uh-huh. I've got a lot of. You got a lot of that. You 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 know because Salam worked on the score. You know, yeah. work with the Fugees. You 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 got to hold down that you know symbolically that Lauren position. Word. Yo, yeah. Yo, nah. You know, he he had said little. There was like little comments throughout mm-hmm. like the whole process and just little things like Lauren. Lauren used to do that. Lauren be doing that. And I was like, don't gas me. Yeah, yeah, right. So you know what I'm saying? Like the pressure, the pressure was real. But I I see it more as like a, you know walking in in something that was like laid down for me to be able to do. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like she made it so that I can maybe create something just as impactful and beautiful. So I, I feel, like, honored to be in that position. That's what's up, man. Two things for you, Nettie. And, you know, I love thee. <laughs> love you, too, but... um, you speak old English? First question is, shush. <laughs> first thing that came to mind um, is a lot of girl groups are no longer forming in modern times. And I'm wondering if if um, you replaced Bodega, if you replaced Joelle, and it was two women, would you have mm. raced to the opportunity? Hmm. Honestly, probably not. Nah, mm-hmm. to, to keep it a buck, I probably would have curved that in the most respectful way. <laughs> because, um, I mean, I, I guess it would depend on, you know, who it was. I, I would entertain, you know, what we're talking about. But for the most part, um, my thing is about artistry. You know what I'm saying? And in even my brand of feminism, where it's kind of like... I hold women to the same standard that I hold men when it comes to artistry. So even though I will respect that we out here doing the same thing, I'm not going to automatically just be throwing out cosigns because you got titties too. Right. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's like that's that, my whole you thing. Got like titties too. You feel me? Like it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that we have <laughs> things in common. That's real. You, you just, feel me? Like it doesn't. Like we could be on man. totally different wavelengths. Man. We could be on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I kind of have like a, a excellence of stand a, a standard of excellence, and it doesn't matter if you're you know a male or a female. But if you're upholding that, then I absolutely want that around me. But it's never going to be blanket just because you're a girl. We gonna get down and be girl power. Right. Nah. 
Yeah, I'm with you with that. Just obligated to respect, not to co-sign. And the second thing, Mother's Mark is one yeah. of my favorites. Thank you. And I just got to know, is it true your mother really did beat up your stepmom? <sighs> oh, yes. She washed her. That was crazy. So, all right. So my moms went to, like, came to my school. This is some real black girl stuff, too. Like, like my mom was mad because my stepmother did my hair. And she wasn't <laughs> she wasn't feeling that. Right. But it's it's real. Like mothers Mr. don't play hair. with their daughter's hair. Like they don't. And she did something to my hair and I came home and my mom's was like, Word, ran up on her at school. I was at school in front of all my friends and everything, and was like, she was all like, You wanna do somebody hair? Do your own daughter hair. Da, da, da. Popped off and they just they just scrapped it out right there in Sheesh. front of all my friends. Mother's it Mark. It was nuts. That's, Mother's that's, Mark. That's like. a song on the album. A lot of great songs on the album. Bams, look at Bams right here. He just look. What that look like, Heather? Look like he I'm just. Chilling. I'm chilling. I'm like, <laughs> chilling. Bams always chilling. Shout out to Heather. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is interesting for you guys, you know, mm-hmm. because you're, you're already in a group, mm-hmm. you know, and now you're in another group. Mm-hmm. You know, um, obviously there's no conflict, right? No. Absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, what 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 about this made you want to do it, even though you're already in the group? Um, to be honest, y'all, I respect Bodega Bams. I wasn't too privy to a lot of Nitty's work, but the phone call from Salam was everything for yeah. me. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a celebrated and and awesome music guy, and you know, what I mean, he was when I first got my deal with Aftermath, he was the first producer I bring my budget to. Like, uh-huh. it was like, who's, where's the first stop you want to make? I was like, Salam Remy. So, you know, our relationship is from back then. You know what I'm saying? So when he called, he like, oh, Joel, what you up to right now? I already muted the TV. Yeah. Because I know what that phone call is like. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm like, talk to me. He like, blah, da, 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 da. And, you know, Bodega, I, you know, that's my guy. So I'm like, yo, Bodega, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But he was selling me on Nitty. You know what I mean? So I double back checked and was like, whoa. Uh-huh. This is a good one. You know what I mean? Let, 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 let's, let's, let's do this. I'm ready to rock and roll. So, you know, <clears throat> Slaughterhouse, and this is much different. Like, it, for me, like, Slaughterhouse, when I get in there with them, that's the alter ego of bar. Yeah. Here we go. Here go the metaphors, the similes. Da, 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 da. We, we the yeah. dudes, we clap everything down. Nobody can hang. Mm-hmm. This was more mal- musical. You know what I'm saying? When we went, we going there, and you working over Hector Lavo, and you working yeah. over Ruben Blaze. Like it's like, wait a second, like these songs right here, yeah, they mean a lot. You know what I mean? And it's a, it's a different experience. Ruben Blaze, you know, he he, he he's naming some, dropping. You know, he's yeah. dropping some big time. Who loved the project, right? by the way? Yeah. Yeah. He loved the project. He really? Loved it, yeah, by the way. What? He yes. went crazy. Really? Yes. Yes. Cleared sample of shot, Jump. Shot the Ruben yes. Blaze. So these samples are cleared? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben Blaze actually was like, you know, like, Holla. yo, I got another album, another piece of work yeah. that I dropped, in, you know, that could fit the next project mm-hmm. if y'all need anything. Wow. How often, How often does that happen? Yeah. How yo, often yeah. does that happen? <laughs> What's the first thing I brought up when, when y'all walked in the room was the sample. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's because we did it with respect to who we were sampling. Yeah. I think sometimes that's that's the glitch, you know what I'm saying? But we did it with so much respect and, and just paying homage to, you know what I'm saying, where we came from that I think it was just like, yo, this is this is good work. Period. Yeah. What track was the Ruben Blade? What's the sample? Do you know what track that is? Mm, that's a good question, yo. I forgot. Oh, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it, it in stumped there. us. Yeah. But well, let's just play track, track 11. Track What's 11? 11? What's Mm-hmm. Oh, I that's my rah. shit. Might have been rah. Yeah, <laughs> I could have been. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was going to do it. I tried to, you know. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to open up the phone lines, too. Uh, Bams, man, I'm really happy for you, too, being a part yeah. of this project, bro. Thanks, big homie. Bams, you, you, you like, uh, to me, you, you, you're symbolic of the, uh, of, like, the truth in rap, in the rap game right now. The, the, the true go. journey is when you watch somebody like Bodega Bams. I like being in the cut when you perform me. You don't even know I'm there. That's fine. My hoodie game is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but I like that nothing stops you. You yeah. know what I mean? And we were having this conversation. Heather B was telling me a conversation she was having with Andre Harrell and the difference in the music business. Back at, you know, you, it was, you used to have just two extremes. You either were making it or you weren't. And people measure their success differently. So you don't have to have millions of downloads of 
mm-hmm. millions of streams to, to be, be lit. To be lit, mm-hmm. be successful, mm-hmm. putting mm-hmm. bread on your table. That's right. Mm-hmm. You ain't compromised yourself mm-hmm. since I've known you. All your projects, this dude mm-hmm. sticking to the bars. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. All and of travel y'all. Travel the world. Travel the world. Travel the world. Just right. speaking your truth. Like, if that's not success, I don't know what is. Like, Ooh, you just gave me a chill off that. Mm-hmm. First thing you said, just because you got titties like me don't mean I'm down. And then this one. We got gems. We got gems I know the titty, titty comment resignated with that. Next time resonating. I address the college campus, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where I'm going with it. Hey, let's play this one track. Um, the album is called West Side Highway Story. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you can pick it up now. Uh, it'll be available this week, the end of this week. You can stream it though. You can stream it. Yeah, for, you go get it. You can, yep. Live mixtapes. Yeah, and there's a couple of joints available on Apple, but we're waiting on one more clearance before we give it all. Listen to how this song builds. <laughs> Say nothing like you hearing right now in the game. Yeah. How you say it again? Um, rah. Rah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. Me get on my, you know. Hey. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> you gonna have do me something? do it, man. Come on, HB. You know my step two, three is to be admired. Come on, man. Rich, you see my step two, three. My step two, three. I'm a renge. What you want a salsa? What you want boomba? What y'all want to do? What y'all want to do? Pachata. Pachata. Let's get it. All that. Yeah. You know my Yo. sister teaches percussions. On the West Coast. Oh, word? Yeah. Word? Fire. Yeah. Uh, teaches uh, capoeira. Fire. Nice. Wow. Uh, percussions. You're a priestess. Oh, I'll wow. take you deep, man. That's Come tough, on, Nitty. Don't do that. Don't wow. do that, Nitty. Yeah. Yeah. This ain't what this is. I'm talking Whoa. to you. You can't talk word, to me. It's a word. lot of shit come out, man. Hola, hola, hola. Some truth. I just want y'all to know I understand. Like, this project is culture-based. And yeah. when you listen to it, this album... Um, you you kind of escape and f- you yeah. fall into the groove yourself. And yeah. I'm just happy because I, I've watched all your careers and you guys have been steady, solid artists through it all. It's been some struggle to get that spotlight, get that recognition. But then one at some point, and I feel like Joel may be there. I'm not sure about Bams. Perhaps maybe Nitty's there too. You get to the point where you ain't really doing this for nobody's approval or recognition nah. or validation, nah, right? Nah. Nope. You, you guys reached that point? I came in there like that, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I came in there with that mentality. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do what I want to do, mm-hmm. what I love. You know what I'm saying? Money's secondary. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's how I always came in it. You know what I mean? The art. Art is important. The culture. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been that Same with me, so, I mean, yeah. I came in. I mean, I... I grew up in the golden age, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's what I was a fan of. You know what I'm saying? So when I entered, I was under the impression that being the best would make you go the furthest. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I never let that go. Mm-hmm. When it shifted and people started saying less and going further, I was still saying staying staying real and saying more. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's just what it, that's just what it is. So, I've seen these. I've seen people shoot right past me, mm-hmm. and then come back down on a decline Absolutely. while I level out with the real. Exactly. You know what I'm saying because I, I stand be for, for something, bro. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I stand for something. Like you know what I'm saying. And now you see it. It's just coming back around to where people want to say stuff again. Mm-hmm. Right. And here go me here in the mix are. still like this mm-hmm. next to spitters again doing it the, my way mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying all right cool i ain't do the garden but i sold out sobs consecutively my come man on, hook your shit. hey 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 hey, hey. Yeah. hey. You know. that's the hook the hook is to sustain while it's going through those seasons every season ain't gonna be yours like that when yep. you blossoming and harvesting but the hook is to sustain during the, the cold through the fall whatever that's right. the case mm-hmm. may be longevity you find a way you that's gotta right. stack sometimes you gotta go back to that place where you be like I put up a couple of dollars niggas ain't feeling me right now let me dig let in let me get in the sneaker right. box yeah you know how to, yeah right. that, that's the hook of, of the game and a lot of people don't tell you that yeah. you know? even the ability yeah. to like reinvent yourself mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying the ability mm-hmm. to evolve and then like document that in a dope way like that's something consistent with all the greats right you know what i'm saying that they've been able to do that's why i just allow myself to to go from 
what whatever zone I'm in to the next one and just progress. Just as long as you always progressing, always mastering your craft, always sharpening your blade. You know what I mean? Mm. You can't go wrong. I like this. You got you got three alpha MCs came right. together and formed a group. Mm-hmm. When you listen to the project, you can hear you can hear pencil lead breaking or you know ink <laughs> running out. Mm-hmm. You know, bams. Let me ask you real quick because this has been such a touchy subject, and I don't know why. Uh, I, I've said it. I respect. I have a different level of respect for the MC that writes than the one that has writers. I don't have a problem with you having writers as long as those writers uh, get their credit. Credit, mm-hmm. but in my personal list of how I came into this culture, of my personal opinion on greatest MCs, the great MCs may have writers, they may not. I give them an A. But the ones who don't have writers, you get an A plus. Gold mm. star. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can't get the plus. If you didn't write it. Can't get the plus. I you know. can't get my plus. I hear you. My oh, plus yeah. may not mean shit to you, mm. but damn it, my plus it meant shit to a lot of people over hey, the years. You know man. what I mean? Nitty Sky, go ahead and for me. Pump my... Pump my. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bam, what's, your t- <laughs> what's your take on that, man? On Ghost Riders and all that? Yeah, it ain't got to be what mine is. I'm just curious. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I'm about to just, like, I'm, my answer is going to fuck all y'all up. Okay. Puff Daddy is one of my favorite rappers of all time, mm-hmm. and Puff Daddy is notoriously known for having a Ghost Rider. Mm-hmm. So, in the aspect of what you're saying, like, yeah, like you know, you can't get that extra oomph if somebody else is writing it. Mm-hmm. I agree with you 100. Mm-hmm. percent But at the same time, like people, pe- like it's almost like I- I've been in the studio and I've actually partaked where you're not gonna get an artist that actually is gonna write every single line. Yeah. What a nigga do is show you a cadence, so he'll show you a delivery, and you'll take that. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember when they were saying Wayne was getting, Gilly the Kid was writing Wayne shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's been going on since forever, but it's like, show me a motherfucker that's actually getting line for line his whole his whole rhyme shit, get, uh, like, everything getting written out, then that's like a different conversation. But like, when it comes to them motherfuckers that we talking about, like, I, I feel like they probably in the studio, son saying, like, yo, do it like this or sound like that. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's, to me, like, the ghostwriting shit, like, we have to really get deep with the meaning of the ghostwriting. Like, if, like, cause, like I said, if they writing all out, then I feel like that's a complete yeah. ghostwriter. I okay. feel like a nigga just telling him, cause I could be in this, there's been times when me and Joel was in the studio in, in Miami. Yeah. And Joel, like, yo, Ben, say it like this. Yo, Ben, throw that in there. That's not ghostwriting. No, that's son not just helping no, me no, out. You know different. what I'm saying? Like, that's so, different. so that's why, like, the did conversation. He, did, he, did he hand you a sheet with verse one, verse two, <laughs> nah. verse three? That's nah. different. Okay, see, that's, that's, that's karaoke. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> right. It's that's karaoke, so fam. Yeah. You reading mm-hmm. lyrics? Nah. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel like, um, like it, it's okay. Like I'll acknowledge that sometimes the best nigga to write is not the best nigga to deliver it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Absolutely. people are better performers and everything. I've heard the same verse performed by the writer and the actual person who, who who introduced it to the world and it's totally different energies and it's totally like wow you had to be the one to bring that to the forefront yeah. so i you know what i'm saying i acknowledge that i also think there's a lot of pressure when you are an artist of a certain caliber and there's a certain level there's an expectation of what you have to do mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying the kind of records you have to deliver the kind of numbers you got to do so i think it's like this thing where so they surround themselves, you know, with it's like direction. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? It's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with a little direction. It's nothing wrong with people to get your juices flowing. Um, but you know, like I said, like he was saying, it's not if somebody's handing you your verse, that's that's, different. that's a whole different that's thing. That's different. And I do think it's people who could say these rhymes better than a lot of other people. Yeah, definitely. They yeah. get an A. But yeah. the dude who could say the rhyme yeah. or the girl who could say the rhyme, be the rhyme and be the rhyme. Yeah. That's special. Because originally it's about your voice. It's about your voice. Not just the performance, but your voice. You know what I mean? I'm I'm, I'm cool with the ghostwriting, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, The music is the important part. You know what I'm saying? The Mm -hmm. message. Ghostwriting has employed me low key yeah, I was gonna for say that. quite yeah. some time. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You get ma- you making money. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Making but money. um, what if the guy you ri- write for, <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 what if the guys you write for are on a, a hottest MC list? Mm. You know that we used to do. Yeah, the shit was real. Um, and they're above. They're higher on the list than you, but you wrote their rhymes. Are they really higher on the list then? 
This is what I'm saying. Oh, the, but you, you know, they, he might, they might be selling more to people. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm with get it. more play. I'm, I'm yeah. with it. But any, a, any kind of from good a cultural music, lens, mm-hmm. any, okay. any kind of good music that I can contribute is <laughs> is great. And as a ghostwriter, why should you be salty if something that you agreed to popped right. off? Like once you you release that, it's like it can go anywhere. My beef, not. I mean, this is my. This is if the one thing I have a problem with is ghost persona. What's that? That's right. the people coaching you to become something you're not. Right. Okay. See, there's a lot of people that when the when the light when these cameras go on, they become somebody. Yeah. I don't like that. Because uh-huh. I have children and, and he might be aspiring to be that person and you're not even that person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't like that. Don't let nobody write who you are. Yeah. As a person. And we right. get a lot of that. Dress this way. Look like this. When the interview come on, say this, Santa. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I be- think that comes from just literally the term ghostwriter makes it sound like as if you are completely fake. Because right. when R and B singers have writers, we don't call them ghostwriters. So right. I'm wondering Yo, if it's just better to move in a direction. It's because more like R and B. It's specifically because it's rap. Because like Michael Jackson didn't write all of his records and we don't care. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because he's still one of the greatest entertainers to ever live. But it's specific Specifically, when you're talking about this culture, this art form that was born from a disenfranchised people, it was about telling our truth and 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 yeah. and bringing our voice to the surface. So it's almost like they almost feel like it's it's a lack of that. You know what I'm saying? You're losing the essence yeah. of of where this started by not doing that. But like I said, it's it's also about you know getting the best result. It's right. about the best result, the best music possible. Hmm. I ain't go front though. Coming hmm. from like the you know the cipher era, yeah, you couldn't go there with somebody's right. rhyme. Right, right. I'm keeping it a buck. Right. You know, like if you when, say you heard yeah, my rhyme, right, yeah. we're gonna have to fight because I just wrote the motherfucker up <laughs> last, last night. night. You know what, what I mean? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like Jay got pissed when people said you when Nah said you got Biggie lyrics all over your lips or whatever. Jay, well hold up, I'm not a biter, I'm a writer mm-hmm. for myself Helping and others. others. You know, and I say why did he say line, that? Yeah. Up my brother. He, he said that because it's important to him to know. No, no hold yeah. up! Yeah. I said right. that shit. I'm bigging up my brother. Yeah, yeah. Chill out. don't get it twisted. I'm right. not a biter. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm a writer. You know, that's yeah. hip hop though. That's culture. And, well, that's and, why they don't get your plus. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? Because if it's, it's like, all right, cool. So me versus you now. You gonna go get your guy? Ex- you can't be you can't be above me if you got to go get your guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's you know not like I mean? ego. Facts. Hmm? Because rhythm and blues also came from this, you know, servicing disfranchised communities. You know what I mean? Literally, it's in the title of rhythm and blues, but it blues. was mainly ushered in by women. Mm-hmm. You but know I what I mean? Because sometimes made, that's the what's the better medium. I think that's know? what made hip hop so special, though. You know, it, it, it was coming from a place where not only can I deliver it, but it's also my experience and how I feel about it and how I put it. Um, my voice is my voice. I think hip hop blessed us with the opportunity to be comfortable with your voice and find your voice. Right. MC Light had a voice. That's who, you know, it was It was different. Don't nobody else sound like Light. Don't nobody else sound like Missy. You're talking about, you know, it, it was just special. I think if, if somebody say to me, Jay, Rakim, Nas, different people who I grew up listening to, and I find out some dude like Craig or Tyrone was right, and that should have killed me. Yeah, like, no, I'm dead. Break my heart. I'd be in my <laughs> bedroom crying like, what the <laughs> fuck? Nigga, I was listening to your shit. Yeah. Let me go give Todd a fucking residual money. Like, you yeah. booty. I ain't yeah. fucking with you like that. Yeah. But we grew up. That's what made hip-hop so special. You presented yourself as not only the voice, but the but the artist as well. Made yeah. it different. That's made the difference different. between the other, the other genres. I'm just curious, because I find myself in a lonely place when I bring <laughs> this up you. a lot. You ain't lonely. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm yeah. over there riding. Yeah. I'm yeah. riding yeah. heavy. I'm, I'm like, damn, motherfuckers do don't care now. It's like, hold on, man. I'm, t- I'm not trying to ruin nothing. <laughs> no, I think but you, it's more like... you know what else to look at though like there, there are situations too with with elite artists that do write their own verses but they walk into hit records too yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like it's like here's the beat and the hook insert yeah, raps all that time. so what is that though all that time, time. you couldn't cut you ain't come up with yeah. the one Sometimes that everybody the saying blueprint. Blueprint. so what is yeah what is that you right. know what i'm saying that cool? that's, that's a strong plug that's yeah, what that's that's the and that happens all must the time be, must be nice have a seat <laughs> rhyme here and you're out of here get you out of there all right we got people on the line real quick man we got jimmy from la on the line what up jimmy yo Jimmy. Yo, what up? Yo, Jimmy. What it do? What it do, what it do man? Hey, I just got to give props to uh, the whole squad out there. Um, Joe Ortiz and everything he's done for the Latino community. Um, Thank you, man. That, that Ruben Blades, that Hector Lavoe, that stuff I grew up on, that's just bananas putting that <laughs> on. Wax. 
bro. There Hell yeah, is, man. Appreciate it, man. That's all we listened to as a kid. Dancing, no shirts, little kids status, mm. pop grind. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just one of those things. And uh, right. I appreciate it. it's going to be uh, it's, it's that culture you guys bring to to uh, hip hop that is much appreciated, especially nowadays. Thank you, man. Mm-hmm. We appreciate you. Yeah, and then there's a Latino culture specifically that has been there since day one. That um, uh, I don't know if everybody re- remembers the tie, the link uh, to the culture. Joe yeah. Ortiz was talking about the toy. It's just gonna be like a lot of nasty girls did it. It's like no ponties. Yes, no sh- yeah. Just no, yeah, yeah. nobody. Yeah, I mean, Let's get it. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Tour, yeah. tour being, it'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all gotta have the percussions. What y'all yeah. gotta have? Like, y'all gotta have everybody. No, this, no, you come to a no ponty. <laughs> well, we not even calling this show. When you come to a no ponty party, party uh-huh. right? You are gonna leave out of there like I had a blast. Okay, it's good. an experience. This is yeah. not. This is not get online, pay your tickets, and watch a show. This is a. You are a part of this. Nice. Wow. You know what I mean, like, it, 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 it will. It will resonate. I, I want to get y'all to do a song live, if that's okay. Let's it's do okay. It. It's okay. okay yeah. Nobody told you, Joel. You at the. I might, I'm, uh, I'm okay. always surprised. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> always springing shit. All right. Well, we Let's set that it. up. We got Ronnie from Jersey on the line. Ronnie, what up, man? Jersey, stand up. What's going on? Heather B., you already know. Jersey, Sway, what up? Tracy G., what up? Um, first of all, Joel Ortiz, I, I got to thank you, man. You inspire me every time. You put out tracks and stuff. I performed for you at Stay at Hope House twice. Uh, the last one you did with Ill Mind was crazy. Oh, thank you. Human. Um, human. That's Yo, you're, you're the man, but Vega, I already know about you, bro. You got bars. Keep it up. Not Nitty, I haven't heard about you yet, but I'm going to look into you today after work. That's what's oh, up. I already man. know you got the bars, though. Wow, yeah. That's Thank what's you. up. <laughs> That's all I really wanted to say. Thank you, Respect. man. We appreciate you, bro. She's dope. Um... Okay, no Ponte. It's the name of the group. The name of the album is called West Side Highway Story. Okay, uh, they're gonna come and, and, and do a song. Let's go get shit up, man. Can we do a? We gonna do. Y'all got this. Y'all got the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can put over there. Oh, we gonna go over there. Yeah, we got mics over there, man. Oh, we rocking like. Yo, yo, yeah, put a put a cover on that one. Oh, we rocking. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yo, yo. Oh, okay. There you go, man. All right, man. Bodega Bams is here, man. That's that's a treat, Heather. You, you know, know, you know, Bams is a you know that's nightlife right there. Bams if we're gonna be chilling. up this early, man, that's <laughs> that's different right there, man. Different. All bars. You know what, yo, you know what Bams bring to this shit though? Like he bring that like, all right, what up, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Bams. He, real talk. He do. <laughs> he bring that edge on it, yeah, boy. Yeah, hell yeah. Gotta be careful with Bams. It's like you might ask him the wrong shit and then the whole thing. <laughs> Yo, fuck that sway. I respect you and all, dog, but fuck that. You're some bullshit right now. <laughs> Is that headphone reaching? If that ain't reaching, that look crazy. Not we'll move it. We, okay. we can move up a little bit. Okay, there to. we go. Man, you guys, you know, not for nothing, man. I, I see, I see, I see Clef. I see Prize. I, yo, I see, yo, yo, I see Lauren. I'm going to come <laughs> clean, yo, Sway. Is, is she supposed to be Lauren? Who's supposed to be Prize and why Clef? <laughs> That's why I want to know, man. Yo, Joel, who's going to be Prize? Be... <laughs> That's why I want to know. Squash your squad and have their bodies under lock and You could be, well, yeah. You, you come could on, be, now. You could be pr- Prize. They, they they be look, be niggas be acting like Prize ain't bring it, man. Prize got the most money out of all of them. That's real. That's real. Untold Prize story. put the group yeah. together. Yo, look at that, man. Prize, <laughs> Prize got that Fetty. Too yeah, right now. Prize, <laughs> Prize, Prize working finances in Wall Street yeah, or man. something Prize. right now. He's the most money out of all of them. Crazy. Prize. That's a living a fun fact. Ghetto superstar. Never forget. Yeah. Never forget. Never forget. And a best selling book. Okay. All right. Ready? <laughs> I'm prize. Hey, b- hey, man. I'm prize. I'll be prize, okay? <laughs> oh, I heard I um, Salam could be Salam. Dayla. Dayla's yeah. rocking with our project. Yeah. Sure. Dayla Soul, man. They got their new project Dayla. out, mm-hmm. and they got they put out a number one project. Number one. Mm-hmm. Dayla. Number one project two, two decades later. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, and they never compromise who they are. Nope. And they wrote their own rhymes. And they wrote their own rhymes. A plus MCs. All right? Um... Uh, the, the the project right now, no Ponte. It's the crew. Joel Ortiz, Bodega Bams, Nitty Scott MC, Salon Remy, the West Side Highway story. Yeah. Don't get it confused. Never. If you like great music, I'm not even gonna put it in a genre. If you like great music, this is a really interesting project to That's sit dope. and listen to. Thank you. All right. If you want to learn about real rap, this is a great project to do it with. 
All right. Um, they're going to perform for us two songs. Maybe. Can I get two? Yeah, All right, on, let's guys. start with them. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you rap good. Yeah, I want to hear true. it. That's true. All right. <laughs> Can you hear that? Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Swain the Morning Shade 4 5 concert series. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Fam, yo. Love, I'm in that new whip inside Roca. Hop up out that pretty motherfucker like Hola. 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 Yo, yo. Pleased to meet you, how you doing? Let's get this shit started. I've been faced with obstacles, my whole, my whole life hit the target. I pray to God, I'm always asking God, why don't you answer? I live in sin, I love a stripper, she my private, private dancer. dancer. They only see the celebration, keep in mind their struggles. Watch the players on your team, look at their face and huddles. They hit my plate, I was stuck between a rock and hard place. Bam, bam, my father name is Barney Rubble. <laughs> Went to Barney's cause my shorty got the 50 discount. She worked for corporate fuckers, still selling work out this bitch house. Of course I'm at the Knicks, they win the chips in 7-3. Of course you mad, your baby mother wanna fuck with me. I got some anger issues, only pussy calm me down I'm from the east, I Spanish Harlem's only go to jail I'm only into fast money, that slow hustle trash I see my lawyer once a month and bring that duffel bag These rappers frauds, when you see them, it's the hugs and fries Been playing 2K since 2000, now y'all changing lives Asking how to fuck this lad and rapping like no other That poppy spitting, read it, fill it, fill it, word the mother I don't need your validations or your top 10 rappers And I don't need the freshman cover class to make a classic Fuck the votes, I don't parlay with the politicians My parolees or the homies coming out not the prisons. Uh, Fuck the system. They designed a plan for me to fail. And while we wait for the second coming, I'm raising hell. hell. Uh, no party. No raising party. hell. Yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I'm in that new whip inside Coca. Hop up out that pretty motherfucker like Hola. Yo. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, yo. Say hi to a boss, bitch. I say hi to a boss, bitch. Say hi to a boss, bitch. Say hi to a boss, bitch. Y'all yeah, know what it is if you don't put on your seatbelt Fat Latin rapper, you spazzing, but you, you gon' need help. help Labels try label a nigga, you know how we felt They don't see the sandwich, but, but they're short when the, the cheese melt. melt Dab nab it, I'm back at it, a crack habit Laying vocals on the top floor like a rap addict I knew I'd run this shit, I bought a track jacket Black Maxes and a starter pistol, let it clap Lapping everybody like Michael Phelps after a dad package Put them school and rock, yeah, yeah Jack blacked it. it Thought I was joking when y'all laughed at it Man, I was dead serious, now my Competition to track maggots When my city ain't fitting Who brought it back snapping I put New York on my back Yankee cat backwards Always showed up Show enough I'm the last dragon Stacking cats in bags While y'all was cat stacking This is God's work and hard work When that pen in my hand Is Henny and Cran Ball work When I converse It's an all-star converse Tailored to make niggas Chuck deuces and long hearse Sorry won't fly Can't spell apologize Without looking at an appalled OG Before your eyes They say business is business Can't take it personal What if you miss it's your business to take it personal All of y'all can get it, this business ain't one personal 16's merciful, God forbid a 32 64's war, saw 1 through 4 surgical Anymore, I have your core fans search earth for you See, my name got way more than respect on it It got fear on it, not even the best warning So come for me like a bench warren I'll warrant the bench for you Had you at the game but not dressed Yo, for it I'm in that new whip Inside Coca, Coca. Coca. Like Hola 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 Hola, yo, say hi to a boss, bitch. Say hi to a boss, bitch. Boss, bitch. Say hi to a boss, bitch. Say hi. Yo, I'm in a summer V, no stubble, we buttery. I cop trees, chop cheese when I fuck with the ox. Niggas think they wrote the book, but it's more like a pamphlet. Brujeria, I can heal up your soul or a snatch it. Uh, sometimes I'm over your head, but nigga, I'ma get across like it's over your bed. I just get by and fuck with a done. And never really let these niggas know what I'm on. Cause he could go from Bobby through Bendejo, nigga, real quick. Now he calling me Perico, I don't feel shit. It was 40, made with 20, that's a real flip. And I've been around the world without a deal, deal bitch. bitch Cause my father chose a goddess from the east side ah. uh, She bumped Celia Cruz and Lisa Lisa, Lisa. Lisa. They went half on a kid, the Angelita Lita. Dango little Spanglish, that's Afro-Latina Rest in peace, abuela, never got to tell her Hope you found your pleasure, know your life was a novella Pulling on your rosary, praying that it get better But I'ma do it mega, meet you in the Mecca ah. I got proof that little Buddha be the truth in this Ludicrous, move I'm moving, what you think is lubing this? I'm cooler than cool Jay, how I'm doing, doing it. it? Well done, Peter Luger shit, a nigga lucrative. Ah, new whip oh. inside Coca. Hop up out that pretty motherfucker like Hola, 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 Hola. 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 hola.
<laughs> Yo, say hi to a boss, bitch. A boss, bitch. Say hi to a boss, bitch. A boss, bitch. Say hi to a boss, bitch. A boss, bitch. Say hi to a boss, bitch. Hola. Hold up, Wonder. Hold up, man. We're going to come to that one. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is what my search is all about. Yeah. I don't get up every day, every day of my life for the past 20 some odd years for no reason. Mm. I've seen diamonds in the rough. I know what it's like when they get shiny. <laughs> I know what they can do when they bring that light. I don't care what they talking about, what they Twitter beefing about, whatever the hell they got going on. If you ain't got these <laughs> bars, it really don't make no difference. Tell them. It's all a charade. These journalists aren't talking about the right shit. That's the problem with the game. I don't blame the artists. If you don't give the exposure to the rightness, then we ain't going to ever be right with this. Oh, that's a it's bar. A bar. Wow. That's, that's a bar. That was a bar. Oh, oh, you had to stand up right there. Yeah, that was a bar. That was a bar. There's room in this room. There's room in this room. No, 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 no. Come on, Toys Way. I don't want that stress that y'all have in that studio trying to make that next verse better. I don't want that stress. <laughs> I already know. Nitty's got is... with a blunt in my whole shit. Did you just hear what, what Bells just said? I, gotta... I don't want to be that person. Um, excellent. Thank yeah. you. Excellence. What good is looking fly if you're rapping like a bum? Ooh. 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 <laughs> Shots. I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. Oh, good as looking fly if you rapping like a bum. I am. We're going to put the different sayings. Just because you got titties like me don't mean I'm rocking you with you. She said something like that. You Didn't remember he? that bar. Oh. <laughs> that was... Remember that we time. both got titties because we both got titties. We both got titties. I mean, titties. we rocking. Oh, that's game. You know what I mean? You... Yo, I love this, man. Y'all give me inspiration, man. No doubt. Y'all give me inspiration, man. man. We Keep love it you, going. Sway. I mean, I'm not just bullshitting, man. I'm in this for so long for a reason. Thank you, Sway. You know? Thank I'm in it for so, a reason. So, so, so we, we, should, we should keep locking it? Should we do another project or stuff like that? Like, I really think you should. Yeah. Okay. I think this this is too, this will be that special treasure chest project. If people don't discover, don't even worry about it, because people will discover it, number one. Nope. Y'all going to be on the road, number two. This y'all first time coming together. Then y'all go off and do your solo things, right. and, you know, and then come back. Y'all ready? Y'all got that vibe? We got that energy? Let's and it's just it. going to keep catapulting everything you're doing exactly. as individuals. Um, Salam yeah. yeah, right? That's yeah. what Salam said? Yeah. Shit, me and Salam said the same shit? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm paying, man. I'm on one. Oh, my God. No, I'm on one. First you got bars, now you see in the vision. I'm seeing the vision, yeah, too, man. Damn. No, Ponte. Now, I see on deck. That's what the other yeah. one y'all want to do? Yeah, I want to see. Y'all hold me down. I might not know that Yeah, one, I was going to say, that's a hard one. <laughs> I want to see. I, you, I, know, I know all Joe's verses. I got this. You got I got it. this. Because cool, cool. I was going to say, they can't do this live. Yeah, he he can't, can't do this. Joel, he's not going to be able to yeah. perform this live. Pick that one. Pick that one. Let's see. All right, Sway in the morning, Shade 4 or 5. No Ponte is the name of the group. The West Side Highway Story is the name of the project. Bams, Nitty Scott, MC I'm Joel. I'm 16, I got Icy's on deck. Cuban link mean, real icy on the net. Footwork clean, so please watch your step. You filling up them jeans, my no disrespect, but get a load of me. I'm who I'm supposed to be. I pull the doors down when I close the feet. It's whatever the night, but don't get close to me. No, I love yous. Now that's an 0 for 3. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's me with the hat low. Nothing but them goonies round here, like an afro. They all glass, so don't scheme like an asshole. This Fidel on my neck, it costs a lot of Castro. Used to stay out late and have bang outs. You, you never came outside, you just waved out. I go all the way out, night be broad day out. This ting never jam, get a tan, boy, lay out. See, ain't I got icies on deck. Ah. Roll down fireworks on deck. Yo, right. Cuban link flooded, same last on the neck. Right. You filling up them jeans, my. I know disrespect. Meet up, meet up. You know this land trap you hearing feel like Holy Spirit. Spirit. I might have moved out of the ghetto, but I'm always near it. Look in your mirror, your image should be your only copper. Tish intuition, she's stripping to get her children talking. Hotter than lava, saliva be spitting flames, pa. Don't call me Rico, Chico, you know my name, pa. You know I'm floating like the PR parade. I got my open toe sandals with my feet up today. Oh, yeah. I'm with Joel. Got Latino saying. 116 Street, Icy's on deck. Up in Coochie Frito with a hoochie talking sex. Flex. 
and still moving that coca. Blitz! Mami quita la ropa. Always been the man before the man said him. Brooklyn the spinach, Harlem milk, body your king. Four fifth with the icies on deck. Come on. I'm cool for the summer, but your wifey gon' sweat. Watermelon pedicure in a sundress. But I still check niggas like I'm Nike or Flex. And they be talking nada. Still ain't got no wins up in me casa. Keep a little dama, her nana color a guava. I do it for the saga, me fan on a humala. Puno en la cara, we hotter and you draga. Baba, it's rugger park on a week. Torch our feet, our poly meet a freak in a deep end. Take a for some cheat chat on a la me lo decent. Bobby at the dock, I heard my niggas is LinkedIn. Matter of fact, just fall back, it's killer season. Them boys out, got toys out for no reason. Mixed chick niggas is sick, like is you weakin'? Ass on rice and beans, like is you eating? Pull up to the spot with that heck that love all blasting. What happened? You ain't see Latins in Manhattan. Niggas know the spot and I got the connect on it, like you talking to La Donia. Put some respect on it. What you know about that? No Ponty. Icy's on deck. The wife. I'm on 116. I got Icy's on deck. Yo. <laughs> Woo, I'm seeing something right now. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm feeling something right now, Heather B. The whack industry is whack if they don't pick up on this. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. The rap industry is whack if they don't pick up on this. It's all right, man. Come on. We gonna keep on pushing. We be arguing over bum MCs. Mm, I mean, Yo, we bro. argue <laughs> over bum ass MCs on you know, the daily so, basis. We talk about who didn't rap more yeah. than we like it. Like like us coming up here, body and shit. Yeah. They would talk more about if we didn't. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm yeah. saying, and it's I'm good. looking at, and everybody remembered all their verses. Yeah. Yo. And when they didn't have their own, this is MCs. C's. These are yeah. MCs, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Feast your eyes on MCs. How you not going to write? Oh, <laughs> that other <laughs> shit is business, oh, and that's okay, too. But mm. we often make excuses for, from the bit for the business when we're dealing with the culture. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You can live, you. you can make your money. I ain't mad at that, but let's not change our shit to satisfy. I'm not mad the at business. the business. Right. Like what got us in the first place? <laughs> right. We changing the rules. <laughs> Who said there ain't no rule book? Blah blah. Motherfucker, you know it. If you yeah. write, if it's you're cold. saying somebody else's rhymes, that's you know. And you hiding it? Yeah, don't. It's okay, but that person. Wrote your life. It's it's a, it. I, I see it like it's passionate about it. So it's, a, yeah. it's, yeah, tough, it's he, tough to deal with. Yeah. As artists to deal with, to, de to look at, frustrated. to look at people who yeah. occupy in a certain tier, and you be like, really? Mm -hmm. And I know for y'all too to have to interview some of these people, like, really? Mm -hmm. Keep it a buck though, like yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. it gotta be raw. Keep it like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it back on me right now. You know, just sometimes saying, you just gotta push Absolutely, through. and we it's talk to people like. Really, I'm not yeah. judging. Though. Really, we, face we literally. Is a I, I, I know. Well, really, <laughs> really. <laughs> you no, know. my face is a legendary in some of these interviews. I, I can't take it. It's all good, man. Such a I big guess. Deal. I mean, you know, every to each his own. I mean, it's all mm. whatever, man. It's all about the artist, though. So that's what, it. Ain't about my interviews. It's about you as an artist. You well, know we what I mean? Thank you for this platform. Yeah, it's absolutely, dope. man. Y'all, y'all doing? Hey, dope. uphold the culture. You gonna get? Make your money, man. Go get that Pepsi dollar. Pepsi, get at you, nitty. <laughs> Better fucking write the shit out of that. See, commercial. I'm the type of I feel like I could get that Pepsi dollar and not play myself. Egg, see, I and can that's, do that. And, and you, you are forced to be reckoned with too. Thank yeah, you. you, you are forced Thank to you. be reckoned with. Um, mm -hmm. All three of you guys are. And this is good to see Bams up here. You know, I ain't Bams said I'm chilling. Look at Bams, boy. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I know. Heart I feel and soul. It. Look at him. No panty, man. No West panties Island today, story. party. Leave your drawers home. <laughs> Pure West Indian style. Yeah, Don't man. bother. Don't bother. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, thank you for coming up. I know thank it's short notice. Up. I appreciate you getting thank up. You. Uh, we're going to be posting this on Sway's Universe yeah. uh, first Yo. thing in the morning. Uh, but if you want to listen back to the interview and, and listen to them spit, uh, go to SiriusXM.com slash on demand. All right. Yes. That's your phone, Sway. Thank you, Sway. Up. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Oh, oh thank God. You, Appreciate y'all. Y'all look dope. That's Salam calling you. Salam, Remy. Salam, I got him right here, man. We about to start the next project. All right. Sway in the morning. Shay 45. Stump one. Is up next. It's Sway in the morning. Only from Shay 45. Oh!